Hi everybody, it's Scarlett Pete. Welcome to my channel on self-sufficiency. And today I thought I'd share with you how to create beautiful lard or tallow, beef tallow. You see, look at that. From this huge heap of fat that's come straight out of the carcass of the beef cow we've just killed. First of all, we need a sharp knife. Nice sharp knife, but we do have to clean any metal burrs off it after we've just um, sharpened it. So that's ready to use now. Now there's a few ways in which to make your beef fat into tallow and lard. We can use a crock pot or slow cooker. We can cook it slowly in a huge pan over the fire. Lily's still learning to drive this thing. Look, see, we're getting there now. And we need some moulds to put it in. But firstly, we need to take this fat. Now, this is how it comes. This is from the kidney area of the beef. And it has like a thin membrane on, so it's really nice if we can just get that pure fat and not keep the membrane. So all I'm doing is just crumbling off the fat, breaking it out of that membrane, as you see there. So then we've got a cleaner product that we won't have to filter quite so much. We pull off this blood and fat, that blood and membrane, and that leaves us with something that's almost like a, a really strong, well-made cold cream for your hands. It's, it's, it will melt in your hands. It's quite soft, but it's also quite hard. There you go. That's a weird thing to say, isn't it? Anyhow, I'll keep on cleaning up some of this now. So we just then cut it up into little cubes. Now what's, oh, <laughs> excuse me, what's so good about beef tallow? Well, it makes an amazing chips. It's supposed to be the best fat to cut, cook your chips in deep fat fry. It's also what you can um, make suet from, for making dumplings. Well, that's, that's just got to happen, hasn't it? And uh, the dirty fat, which I have in the pot over here, if you want to zoom in there, Lil, that's the fat that's come, um, it's messier, it's dirtier. So that I haven't bothered to clean. That's going to be made into soap products. It still will be filtered and cleaned, but I'm keeping the very best for our pastry making, chip cooking, just the best for us. So I'll carry on again, as I say, cleaning up this till I've got a pan full. Now this is where it's come from, and this is the fat that we really need that's next to the kidneys. If you peel this open, you will see under here, we have a kidney lying in this fat that we need to peel out. It's in its own little membrane, so we need to break that membrane, and we should have come out beautifully and cleanly. A strange looking kidney, because beef kidney is always a bit strange looking. It's all knobbly and lumpy. There we go. We've still got some fat. Now I bet you if us humans had this much fat around our kidneys we'd be in a bit of a bad state. But this cow was only fed on grass and hay and lucerne so there's no way she's had a grainy fatty diet. This is how nature intended her to be. So here's a whole kidney that we fished out earlier. And that's that lovely fat. Now this fat is going to be saved specially for making pastry. So this will be double filtered. Anyhow, getting back on with cleaning up some more of the, of the lard. See, it's, it's so easy to crumble and break. And then within it, you'll find it has more of this membrane. So we're just going to take the membrane off and keep preparing it ready for the pan. We've got our fat ready into the cube, and we're just going to throw that into a pan. When the pan's full, we'll do the next step. Look at that membrane. That's what we've got to take off. And underneath, we've got the perfectly packaged fat. Just pull it apart. And try not to have any blood and guts and bits in the pan. We just want this nice, clean stuff. And these are the bits you want to avoid. See, them in the membrane, you've just got little bits of 
um, blood and veins and that's what would make it a dirtier fat. So there the pan is full. We need a good heavy bottomed pan and this is going to take a number of hours on a very slow heat. So possibly on the top of the um, Rayburn or the uh, fire. So let's put a cup full of water in there now. There we go, approximately. This one's taken seven hours to get to this point. This one's taken about six hours. That's the dirty one for, for um, soap making. And here's some I made earlier. Let me show you how it goes. So this one's off to go on top of the fire. Here's the one we made earlier. Now it's been put in the pan, in the fridge to cool. Now this is the water that we first put in. So the water will always settle to the bottom. So there's the water with all the dirt in, and here, or impurities, here is the absolutely perfect tallow. Perfect for making pastry. I'll just pour... That now will be cut, probably. Oh, well, we can do it. We'll cut it into... That. That can be put into a bag and stored in the fridge, or it can be wrapped in paper. Now, how do we do that? What we do is get our container, we get a rag we can sacrifice, which is an old muslin cloth, we've got a sieve underneath, rag on top, now this is four layers thick, so the more filtering we do, the better the product. And then we have to take our fat that's been rendered down, let me pull this closer, from the stove cooker, and we're going to use a ladle to scoop it into there. We just take what's floating on the top and we pour it through muslin and it will drain and drip through slowly because it's got to heat up the muslin cloth which has had lard in already, or not lard, the tallow. And then what it collects in the cloth goes back in to render down. slowly dripping through to give us a very clear product and then this fat that's left in here will go back into the slow cooker to carry on rendering. Now that will settle out and we'll have some water underneath again. Now what you could do if you really want to have some fine product, which I'm probably going to do, is take that other batch and this batch when it's cooled and then I will heat it back up again filter it once more and put it through into the mould again or make individual moulds so then I'll have a beautiful pastry um, lard. And now to render the dirtier batches I'm calling it, this is for my soap making because I haven't made this quite so pure, I'm just going to scoop it through, let it drip through. This one's produced a lot more fat. And then this will be put in the fridge to chill. Once it's chilled, it'll be hard blocks. And that will make us some beautiful soap in the future. Because we're going to have an awful lot of it from this pound. So we'll have to keep on repeating this process till it's done. And there we have it all done. So I hope the video has been helpful to you. So all it is in a nutshell is take your fat, clean it as much as you can, um, slowly cook it over a slow heat, whether it's a slow cooker or a large pan, sieve it and filter it as much as you can, and then maybe repeat the process and you end up with a very high quality product for cooking and soap making. Thanks ever so much for watching. We'll see what the next video brings you. Please like, share and subscribe. Give me a comment so I know you're there. Bye.